So I was in Mexico for six months and I stayed at this house alone. When my uncle was here staying in the house, he tells me that he had a paranormal experience upstairs. Welcome back everyone, my name is Cosmic Miggy. I talk about mysteries, urban legends, the paranormal. There's something that I really wanna talk about that happened to my family in Mexico. As you guys already know, that I used to live there. Guys, I found a kitty. <laughs> a kitty was in the house. That house was around a neighborhood that had a lot of crime. I'm talking about robberies, I'm talking about break-ins, I'm talking about car thefts. Let's just say that I lived in a place where I had to be alert, like 100% alert at night. Just recently, we had a lot of paranormal experiences. The first one involved my aunt, my tia. One day she came over to help me clean the house. I was cleaning the kitchen and she was cleaning the bathrooms downstairs and upstairs. At this point of the story, she's cleaning the bathrooms next to the living room. While she's cleaning, she feels this whoosh, like a wind, like a breeze. She felt like someone was running behind her. I'm talking about really fast. She got spooked, she didn't know what it was. At first she thought it was my brother because my brother was in the house at the time, but he was upstairs. So she ignored it. She didn't really think about it that much. She just thought it might've been my brother who was just like <laughs> running in the house for some reason. She then goes upstairs to clean the bathrooms. While she's cleaning, from the corner of her eye, she sees a shadow just like walking by, passing her. This is what a lot of people would describe as a shadow figure, a shadow person. I read a lot about it when I was little and I saw a lot of like YouTube videos about people like catching like these shadow figures walking in their room, in their house. I wasn't there in the house at the time when it happened. It's only when I came back, that's when she told me about the shadow figures that she saw. The weirdest part is that in my time living in that house alone for six or seven months, I've never experienced anything negative. I've never experienced anything dark. The only time when something does happen is usually when my aunt is around. I think that's because when she was young, she used to play with the Ouija boards and she used to like practice dark magic. She was in a very dark place and I think that led to a lot of spirits attaching themselves to her. When my aunt told this story to people, a lot of my family members didn't really believe her. I did believe her. All right, so that was the first story. The second story is a bit more dark. This happened just recently, two days ago. This happened in the afternoon. My aunt and my grandmother, my abuelita, came to the house to clean and to do some uh, maintenance work. My aunt, my tia, goes upstairs to clean the bedrooms. This is the part where it gets a bit dark. My abuelita, she was in the living room. So what my abuelita, my grandmother, does is that she's walking and she's going down the basement to see if anything needs cleaning. While she's walking, she slowly goes down the stairs to the basement. In that instant, she says that some force, some energy just pushes her. She claims that she felt like these hands just pushing her, pushing her back. What happened next was that she fell down the stairs, hitting her elbow, her legs, and her head. Now these stairs are made out of concrete, meaning that if you fall, you're gonna hurt yourself. She falls down and she starts to scream for help. Help, help, ayudame, ayudame. My aunt, who's upstairs, comes running down, picks my grandmother up, my grandmother tells my aunt to get out of here, go outside. They're outside at this point, and my abuelita then starts to tell my aunt about what happened. My aunt immediately called my grandfather and told everything that happened. She's doing well and she's gonna make a full recovery. She did hurt her leg, she did hurt her elbows, her head. My aunt hasn't come back to the house. No one wants to come back. I don't think it's a coincidence. I think that something is following my aunt, some negative energy. What's really weird is that I lived there for six months alone and nothing negative happened to me. I wasn't pushed. I wasn't kicked. My family wondered if maybe she slipped on something. Maybe the floor was wet. Maybe there was like something on the stairs which made her fall down. To this day, my grandmother says that some force, something. She felt the hands just push her, push her back. 
My theory is that something is following my aunt. My grandmother, my abuelita, is the most kindest and sweetest person in the world. Why is this happening to her? You know what I really hate? I don't like when spirits, when evil spirits mess with my family members. When I get back, I'm gonna go there, boom, do a lot of spiritual cleansing of the place. If we don't take care of this now, this evil energy will grow. I'll probably be back somewhere in April or May, and that's when things are gonna get real because I'm not gonna deal with evil energy in the house. Until next time, my name is Kazi Migi. Stay safe.